My name is Gerald Anthony Dwyer Astefan. Unless we, the people, stand to attention now and learn fast that we are in fiscal, serious fiscal difficulty, and we have to learn on our own because we're not being taught, we're being manipulated, not to create any hostility, but I believe in peaceful means of doing things. If they're crying out for it, or sufficient of them are, who can deny them that? Yeah! I saw 2010, 2011. I can't believe it, man. Sweet music! Never thought I would live to see a lot of what's reality in this country. Oh, land of beauty. When I think of how it used to be, the world's freest democracy is real scary. For the National Assembly, for 
the entire world to see all and sundry behave so badly. The obvious state of disorder cause so many to wonder and ask the question whether the future. Our leaders refuse to show examples we could follow. I can't believe. So you see, we all came here this afternoon, and you know what you did? You took a historic stand. You said, I am Labour because I got Labour people in here now. They got, look at Labour man right here. That's about one And I'm one too. This is not about Labour and Pam. Labour here, Pam here, CCM here, NRP here, UDEP here, Reggie here. thought about this march, especially when I heard Douglas advising his people to red up the town today, so that my big concern, as I was coming in with, uh, with my friend uh, Wally, I asked him when he passed the town, how much people got a uh, red? He said, holy rock. <laughs> That fact is the worst thing that ever happened to save his people in our history. There has never been a time in our history when we face so much hardship from the government and from a so-called labor government. Now we have a doodle bill again. <laughs> We got a man here who does take 76 million dollars and do so. And then it goes on. We have a man who takes 72 million out of the government money to invest in the valley. He do so. And it goes on. We have a man who takes 22 million dollars of the sugar workers money. He take out the money, he do so, abracadabra, the money gone. Why you have to have another housing authority when there is a government housing authority already? It is because you want to take out the money and you want to use the money without anybody being able to track down the money. Abracadabra, the money gone. To me, we do not have a legitimate Labour Party. It's a synthetic run. Because if you were fully right and Labour, you would have preserved the land and tell them when they want 10 and 20 acres, you would say, the land belongs to the people. Like Bracha. I heard he say one day, a lot of you, you know, you're squatting. But anybody put up a fence, I rip it down. I say, here the fool. Three miles of fencing down in there, babe. Nobody rip that down. because he taught us a lesson. I remember when I was not aware that he was my servant. I thought I was his servant. Can he say, you know, you guys are not my servant, you know. I'm your servant. If you're ready to leave, to get better and learn, as long as he leave in our shoes, he addressed the nation like a father do to a household. And when he come back, or not it was successful. Yes. We on the other hand have to one they said where the PM or oh, he gone right now and then the but he don't come back and the say, but he got again. <laughs> he insulted us when he said he could run this country from a blackberry. We do you have a, a prime minister looking you in the eye. You are working for three hundred dollars a week. Your electricity bill is already ninety-eight dollars and twenty-five cents. I'm talking about a woman who just leaves school and joins factory. So then, according to the 85%, you know what can happen to you? Oh, yeah, yeah. That as soon as your next bill comes, it is $183.50. Oh, yeah. Where the hell is she going to get it from? You want to go get regular oil changes? <laughs> is that your want? So every time she gets the oil change, she says, that's for electricity. So she goes for the next oil change, and then she says, that's there to pay for the child's food. 